You know, Alfred, um, on Galamse and illegal mining, yesterday I was on Hot Issues 3FM with Beatrice Edu, and I think that in the midst of the conversations, I, I got very upset with some of the things, and so I made some statements that was not good. So I'd like to send an apology to um, the former director of the Ghana School of Law, Dr. Ansa, Ansa Sari, um, about some of the comments that I made. Um, but clearly to go, there's no need repeating no, no, what I said. Prof, you're yeah, a bad gentleman. <laughs> yes, let, let's put it. Bad gentleman. Yes, you're a bad gentleman. Yes, yeah, bad gentleman. Yeah, what you say. <laughs> you shouldn't be. <laughs> yes. No, but I think it's, it's important yes, it that upon yeah, reflection, I, 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 I mean, why not? Yes. Program, so I yes. know exactly yes. what he said. Upon, upon reflection, I think it's, it's worth, it's worth um, retracting. Yes. Not all MPV people behave like the way you have behaved. No, 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 yeah, I'm sure it's because he was my protege. Where were I coming over from? So oh. I brought him up well. That's like, th thank you for that. You okay. know, um, Alfred, mm. the president and now the Danko Kufuado very much has been observing what has been ongoing in the public domain and proud to organize labor, bringing out their documents the president had set up this committee to meet with organized labor to be able to see how this um, illegal mining can be addressed. Very clearly, I can appreciate and understand the issues that have arisen, the destruction of the water bodies, the children that are being born with deformities, the cyanide, the mercury. I, I, I can appreciate that. I can appreciate that it can have a trickle-down effect into a sizable part of the country and um, the health implications of that. When organized labor brought out their statements requesting for three items that the president calls for a state of emergency, a revocation of the LI to be able to license small scale miners, LI2462, and then um, a setup of smaller courts to be able to deal with ongoing illegal mining cases. On Thursday at about 9 o'clock, the president met with organized labor. And I, th I, I thought that that was a very swift action um, by President Anado Danko Kufuor, especially when organized labor has stated that um, on the 10th of October, they are going to have a nationwide strike, which um, impacts a lot of things, uh, impacts um, revenue, mobilization, mm -hmm. impacts um, the constant productivity in the country. And so it, it was good that the president had a meeting with organized labor to be able to give them an appreciation of government's position and government's preparedness to be able to solve these issues. And also in cabinet of Thursday, and you are aware that the president and Adam Kufado on a bi-weekly, weekly basis meets up with cabinet meters. It was one of the most topical issues. I didn't find anything wrong, really, with my sector minister, the Honorable Haji Fatima to Abu Bakar's report to the nation, because you see, the, the, there is an arm of government that met with organized labor, and organized labor has a responsibility to also respond back to their members, which they will do on Monday, as Professor Dampo has said. But if the respected honorable minister for information puts out the statement, and it's just three paragraph statement, and Alfred, if you mind me, I'll just read that. He says, the president's meeting with organized labor, press statement. The president of the Republic, His Excellency Nanado Danko Ekufuado, held a meeting with organized labor yesterday, 3rd October 2024, at the Jubilee House to discuss issues pertaining to small-scale illegal mining. Government would like to thank organized labor for attending upon the president's invitation. Government is committed to engaging all stakeholders in pursuit of sustainable mining and environmental protection. Signed, Fatima Tobubaka. This is very clear. It's very succinct. Um, there's not much details about what transpired in the meeting as Professor Jarampo is alluding to that uh, we are trying to let the Ghanaian people know what transpired in the meeting and the fact that we are trying to do the work of organized labor. It's neither here nor there. Government has a position to be able to let the Ghanaian people know of the government's position and government's preparedness in all this regard. You know, Alfred, I look at, I look at illegal mining, really, and I look at it in a way of the entire mining value chain, okay? You, you have mining that is ongoing, that is raking in revenue. You have mining that is ongoing in small-scale environments where we have sought to bring in responsible mining, okay? In the years of old, you had faceless people that were involved in illegal mining, which is against the law. Now, our government has had to bring in responsible mining by giving licenses to small-scale miners to be able to mine responsibly. 
I think that that is key, that now clearly you can identify people that are involved in mining. You can guide them to be able to do responsible mining. When we came as well, we met a situation where a lot of the mining sites that had been mined were not were left, the empty pits were left. Our government had sought to reclaim those lines, a sizable part of that. We also realized that there were people who lived in mining communities who were vulnerable to mining that was being done then. So they had no alternative livelihood that they had to be involved in it. Our government set up the alternative livelihood program to ensure that people who live within the mining environment can have an, another opportunity to do other ways. I know a few people who live in mining environments who now, because of government's alternative livelihood program, are able to do a lot more different works beyond mining. Government as well also brought in the small scale um, community mining because you see, a lot of the mining that is being done must be owned by the community. We have set up about 20 community mining schemes that are ongoing now. It is right that people who do mining don't use mercury to be able to clean up their um, or minerals when they get that. So government brought in 10 mercury-free machines. And I mean, our government secures to do more in terms of bringing a lot more mercury-free machines that a small-scale miners can be able to use. If you look at all of these efforts and impacts that President Anado Danko Ekufuado has made, you can clearly see that the mining industry has grown and the revenue thereof is impacting the country positively. Now, on, 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 on the water bodies, just yesterday, I saw that the Ghana Water um, Company brought out a statement about the Setrahiman um, water plant, the Setrahiman treatment plant, uh -huh. about the fact that the gallons of water that they used to receive, which is about 1.9 million gallons per day, mm -hmm. now it's increased to about 2.7 million gallons per um, a day, which means that the Setrahiman environment, which takes care of central region and other parts, is beginning to improve in terms of the cleanness of the water. And clearly well, you but, can... But, you but can what you, that's what is on the screen. But you see, this particular statement, eh, uh, Doc, the turbidity, that's the level of pollution of this water, was 14,000 NTU. It's reduced to 9,000. The ideal turbidity level, according to WHO standards, is supposed to be 5. Hmm? For Ghana water, we talk about within the region of 100, 200, thereabout. We're talking about 9,000. What exactly are, are, are we celebrating here? No, you see, Alfred, we are, not, we are not celebrating. We are talking about government's response and how government is seeking to address this issue. Okay? I mean, you allude to the fact that, yes, it was um, 14,000 NTU, and now it is 9,000 NTU. We are very certain that in the coming days, it will reduce further because, you see, it, it, it's important that we try to also look at the works that is being done. And I'm glad that when, when, when the president set up the five-member committee, they met up with organized labor, made organized labor be aware. The president also called all the regional ministers and instructed them again to ensure that RESEC steps in into the small-scale uh, mining industry, especially those that are doing illegal mining. So for me, um, I look forward to organized labor not going through their strike. I, I hope that they would, they would um, be minded to... But why should organized labor listen to the president? Well, because, you see, you have, brought, you have brought an issue to the attention of the president that the president is already aware of. And I've, I've, I've stated that, you know, Alfred, a, 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 um, calling a state of emergency, uh, revoking LI2462, um, setting up smaller courts and all of those, it doesn't take a day or two to do that. You need to be able to meet with the various stakeholders and ensure that everybody is on the same table. I mean, imagine that you're going to revoke a license of person A, and that person A takes you to court. You can imagine the number of chaos that all of that is going to create. So for me, I would suggest to organize labor, including Professor Jampo here, that they should attend to the invitation of the president to hold on to their strike and give government a lot more time. I'm also aware that before the 10th of October, the president, Nana Danko Kufuado, will meet with organized labor again. But, you know, Alfred, there's something that we need to be mindful of in this country. You know, Professor Jampo brings in the secretary to the president and uh, makes a statement about his ill health. You know, I, I, I saw the post on social media. He's repeated it on this platform. I mean, no one really would want to use someone's health and equate that to 
Um, I think that was not done in malice. I, 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 no, 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 no. I, no, you see, no, I, I, I don't, I, no, I don't think. No, 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 the, the underlying tone with that statement made by Professor Jampo, I don't think communicated any malice, did it? Or, but or from the, where you sit, no, it but, but you know, with you. No, but you know, Alfred, the issues we are discussing, okay. there was no need. Oh. I think. No, I'm, I'm, I'll be honest I with you. I don't think no, you made reference no, to that. No, no. We, we, was I not talking about no, health? No. Was no, I not okay, talking about no, the fact that you no, can't... You see, you no, people are saying no. we should stop the fight against Galamsey no, because I, it I, will make you lose power and you not also get resources. Okay. And I'm saying that power, money is like a stupid toilet paper yes. if you don't have health. And that's why I said that. And what shows that the secretary? What shows that the secretary to the president has money? No, no, no. What shows? Please, please. Okay, secretary. What shows? No, what shows? I mean, no, please. I don't. Okay, I don't. I don't. No, no. I don't. 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 think. I don't. I don't. I just think. I just think that is not. Is not. So don't insult our intelligence. No, I don't. I don't think. I don't. I don't think. I don't think. What do you mean? What? What? No, I don't think. I don't think. I don't think it's right. I just. I just think. I just think. I just think it's not. Right. That, that, it's that important way. that I, I make Alfred. It's yes. important that I make the statement that I don't think is right. Um, we we wish the secretary to the president a good recovery, um, and we pray that the Lord would restore him back to good health. But I don't think that is right. That uh, when we are having a conversation that does not even matter, um, and you try to intertwine him in, in all of these conversations that if you have more money and you don't have health and all of those other things. We all know, we all know those things that uh, we are taught about those things when we're growing up. You understand? That, uh, you know, so don't, 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 don't just mix it up, okay? I, I think that uh, it's important that I, I let you know. I didn't think that you would repeat that statement here. So, I mean, for me, Alfred, those would be, those would be my, my statements on on, on the fight against illegal mining. But the president, Nanado Danko Kufado, um, is very much clear in his mind that government is going to attend to these issues. Well, but if all of these interventions you outlined are working, as you outlined them, as government has put in place, why are we at this point of the crisis we're faced with this illegal mining? And I showed you all the river bodies that have been polluted as a result of illegal mining, the forest cover that we have lost as a result of illegal mining, and then also the, the, these forest reserves we are losing as a result of illegal mining. So if all these measures are in place and are working, why are we at this crisis point? You know, Alfred, you see, um, we, in, in governance, is, is a collective responsibility, you understand? And governance, uh, like we know it in school, is for the people and by the people. It's, it's an entire collective responsibility of everyone that is involved. And we, we are where we are because of setting irresponsibility by other people that are involved in the acts, which is why we have been raging this war. And it's a war that is not won yet until we see that the water is clean, until we see that it's free of the cyanide, until we see that it is free of the mercury. And so we shouldn't make it a partisan issue. It's a nationalistic issue and we must be able to treat it as such. And, and rightly so, I don't think it's been made partisan as the conversation we are having now. What I wanted to find out is if all these measures have been put in place and they are working, why are we at this crisis point? Alfred, all I'm trying to say is that these measures have been put in place. We are in a crisis. The measures are still being implemented so that we can be able to get out of the crisis. Like I said, it doesn't take a day or two to be able to resolve the canker that has been ongoing in this Fourth Republic from 1992. It, it takes a lot more time to be able to resolve these issues. And that's why our government is trying to attend to these issues now.